Welcome back to my YouTube channel MCD ChemTube. This is an online chemistry tutorial. You get my previous video from my website or from my YouTube channel. So we were discussing about the topic basic concepts in organic chemistry and in this second lecture I want to discuss with you a very important topic that is reaction intermediate. And carbocation and its structure and ability. So let, what is reaction intermediate? So reaction intermediate is usually obtained either by homolytic or electrolytic bond fission. And due to this fission, it results in the formation of very short-lived species. And this short-lived species is highly reactive and quickly converted into products and under certain conditions, they are of certain stability and get isolated. So what are the types of reaction intermediate? One is carbocation, the first one, another free radical, carbanion, and carbene. And usually, this reaction intermediate do not avail or is object rule exception of carbanion, and it is highly reactive and how can you prove the existence usually that is done by trapping by using some other chemicals then characterize that species by spectroscopic method and these intermediates are stabilized by conjugation or resonance or by various electronic effects such as inductive effect and hyperconjugated effect or by resonance and first consider the carbocation. What is carbocation? Carbocation is a, a species with a, a carbon with a positive charge are called carbocation. It is also called carbonium ion. And it, carbocations are very short-lived species having transient existence. You cannot directly observable and highly stable and of course highly reactive. So these are the types of carbocation. First one is methyl carbocation, primary and secondary carbocation, tertiary carbocation. In primary carbocation, this carbon is attached to one carbon. In secondary, that's attached to two carbon. Tertiary is attached to three carbon. And how the carbocation get generated? Usually one method is ionization you in alkyl halide as you know the living group usually leave with its lone pair it is like this a smaller bond is highly electronegativity so it leave with its lone pair and it form carbocation that is the one method second method ionization after an initial reaction that is sometimes but First alcohol, in the case of alcohol, it first get protonated and it form hydronium ion, then it get ionized, it form carbocation. Third method, attack of pi electron on electrophile. So pi electron here on attacking electrophile photon, it form a carbocation. These are the generation method. Next, what is the structure of Carbocation. So carbocation is having six electrons in its valence shell of electron. So this is a suspect of electron. Of course, it will be trivalent species, and it is having short of two electrons complete octet. So it is electron deficient. Hence, it is acting as Lewis acid. As you know, the what is the Lewis acid concept? And how about hybridization? Usually, octa uh, CH4, that is methane, it is having octet of electron, is sp3 hybridized. And uh, having four orbitals, hybridized orbital. So, six electron, there will be, uh, hybridization will be sp2 having three hybridized orbital. One S and two P hybridized orbital. And it form sp2 hybridized 
and there will be one unhybridized PMT orbital. The shape will be trigonal planar shape. So this is the trigonal planar shape. You can see that this CH3 bond all are in same plane and unhybridized orbital it is perpendicular and here six electrons are used here you can see here one two three six electrons are used to make three sigma bond and all are lying in one plane and the angle between them are 120 and pz orbital that is perpendicular to the plane so it can accept electron and help in further reaction Next, we will discuss the stability of carbocation. There are three electronic effects that can stabilize the carbocation. One is inductive effect, another one is hyperconjugation effect, third one is resonance effect. First, we will consider the inductive effect. How inductive effect affect the, uh, the stability? You have a two carbocation here I have shown. In first case, you have an electron donating group and in second case, electron withdrawing group. Usually, electron donating group stabilizes the cation. An electron withdrawing group destabilizes the cation. Why? What is the reason for that? And electron withdrawing group usually delocalizes the positive charge. So, this is electron deficient. And if you have an electron donating group, it can donate some electron density here and it gets delocalized. And usually delocalization leads to the stability. But in the second case, you have a carbocation here, then it electron withdrawing group, it usually attract the electron density from here, then make it more electron deficient. So it becomes destabilized. Usually delocalization decreases the electron deficiency and make it more stable. Then when you compare the stability of tertiary, secondary and primary and methane, tertiary will be more stable because you have a three electron donating group here and it can you know delocalize more and all our electron donating group. You have a two electron donating group here. You have only one here. There is no electron donating group. So number depends on the number of more electron donating group. It gets stabilized. Okay, second effect, hyperconjugative effect. What is hyperconjugative effect? Actually, it is an no bond resonance effect and is an, an interaction between CH sigma bond with a positive center or a pi bond. So this can interact and it can decrease the electron density on the positive center. This CH bond can interact. So electron density get delocalized between CH sigma bond and empty p orbital. And in, in this case you have a three hydrogen atom. All these three hydrogen atom can interact with this MTP orbital. So when you consider tertiary and secondary and primary methyl cation, you can see that in tertiary you have a nine hydrogen atom alpha on, on alpha carbon. All this nine alpha hydrogen atom can interact in hyperconjugative way and make it more stabilized. And you have only six alpha hydrogen atom. So six alpha hydrogen atom can stabilize. So here you have only three. So depends on the number of alpha hydrogen atom, the interaction or stability will be higher. So tertiary will be more stable than secondary and which is more stable than primary when you consider hyperconjugate effect also. So this is an electron density diagram, computer simulator diagram of uh, this tertiary and secondary and uh, primary and medial carbocation. You can see that here, the, here blue color you cannot see here. Here you cannot see blue color. Blue color increasing the content of blue color means the this is the 
charge imbalance not delocalization so lesser blue color means more delocalization so you can see lesser blue color in this tertiary so when you go from tertiary to me then you can see the increase in the blue, blue color concentration deficiency get increased a third one resonance effect and this is a very good example for resonance effect that is allylic carbocation and this allylic carbocation are resonance stabilized this carbocation is resonance stabilized and this one is the hybrid structure and this allylic carbocation will be stabilized by the effect of resonance similarly benzyl carbocation is also stabilized by resonance effect and this may actually this positive charge is not concentrated only on this carbon atom but it is resonance stabilized this interact with other carbon atom like this and you have a positive charge here all over this benzene ring so that means this charge is delocalized over the whole molecule so it get delocalized means it increases the stability so when you compare the allylic carbocation and benzylic carbocation which is more stable than benzyl is more stable because it has a more resonating structure so more delocalization occurs in benzyl so more resonating structure more delocalization occurs then it will be more stable so when you come compare the stability of benzyl and triphenyl methyl carbocation triphenyl methyl carbocation which will be more stable of course tertiary benzyl will be more stable why this will be in resonance with this phenyl ring like this here and similarly there will be another resonating structure with another phenyl the second one and with third one also here you have a two phenyl group these carbocations are resonance with the two phenyl here only with one phenyl so more resonating structure you can in, in, in the case of tertiary so last one reactions of carbocation i have given three uh, typical reaction that can be expect in the case of carbocation one is capturing of nucleophile that is a re reaction with a nucleophile sn1 reaction here a nucleophile can attack and form a product substituted product that is the one second one deprotonation that is a loss of proton from here to get an eliminated product that is e1 reaction and third one rearrangement that means a one two alkyl ship can of course usually in order to stabilize the primary carbocation it can form a secondary carbocation okay by shifting one hydrate hydrogen from here or alkyl from here here in this particular example one hydrogen is shifted to here one two hydrate shift of first and it form a tertiary carbocation then it can further react okay that's all about carbocation in summary you can say reaction intermediate carbocation we have studied carbocations are electron deficient species with a set of electron and sp2 hybridized and order of stability of carbocation is like this and due to plus i effect or hyperconjugation or resonance it can decrease the positive charge on carbon and stabilize the carbocation and carbocation can undergo various type of reactions such as capturing nucleophile elimination and resonance that's all thank you for watching